Hey guys, so today in this video I'm going to be drawing Micah Parsons, but I'm not doing it in my traditional comic book style. I'm trying to do it in a realistic comic book style, uh, basically mimicking Alex Ross. Now, if you're not familiar with Alex Ross, he does comic book drawings, but what makes him unique compared to most comic book artists is that he paints in a re very realistic style. And uh, his, I think his work looks amazing. It's definitely different, stands out from most comic book artists. So that's one thing that I think is really impressive about it. So what I'm doing here is after I do the initial sketch, I'm outlining it in colored pencil. And that's because I want the outlines to be very subtle. I don't want them to be very strong like with a pen. But as you can see, once I erase it, uh, the regular pencil completely disappears, but the colored pencil is still there very faintly because colored pencil does not erase very well at all. And after that, I get into using the colors and basically I'm just putting down uh, the lightest color first in big areas. And uh, you know, with these markers, you can almost go darker, but you can't really go lighter. It's not like how paint works. So that's kind of the process that I have to do here. And as you can see, I'm going to basically be, keep doing this and sort of uh, copying the couple of reference images that I have. But if you'd like me to do a more in-depth tutorial of explaining this process that I tried, uh, definitely leave a comment below saying that you think you'd, you'd want to see a video like that. This is more really just a speed drawing, kind of showing it. But if, yeah, if you want me to do like more in-depth tutorial and a longer video, Definitely leave a comment, and that's something I consider for one of my upcoming videos. But as you can see here, I'm just layering in uh, the dark colors as I go, and then, of course, one of the benefits of these alcohol markers is that you can blend it as you go. You know, I think this is turning out uh, pretty promising, and I think I definitely enjoy this style. Um, I've tried to do realistic drawings in the past that were with colored pencils, and it was just so tedious, I just hated it. You know, colored pencils uh, in a realistic style just takes forever to fill in all the colors and it's so time consuming and getting the texture just right. I mean, it really is just a pain in the neck. And, I, and you know, a lot of people, I did like one colored pencil drawing before in a realistic style. And, you know, a bunch of people said, hey, you should do more like more like that. But I mean, it was, it took me like a month to do the whole drawing. So. I was like, there's no way I'm doing this ever again. It was so boring and tedious. But this style I could definitely do again because with the markers, it's so much faster. Really doesn't take, maybe takes a little bit longer than a regular comic book style drawing, but not dramatically longer. Maybe like twice as long at the most. Um, maybe even not that long, but definitely way, way shorter than the colored pencil style. Like I said, that video took about a month to draw. So it was torture, and I'm definitely never doing that ever again. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about uh, this realistic style, and if there's a, if you want me to draw anybody else in this realistic style, if, if you think this is something I should pursue more. Like I said, it was pretty fun, something definitely different, definitely stretched me, and, and you know, it's a style that I kind of practiced this as first time, so I feel like if I do it more and more, I'll be able to improve at it and, and get better at this style and this technique and uh, really push the limits see what these markers can do but yeah like i said just kind of copying how alex ross does his drawings i felt like that worked out pretty well just kind of mimicking his shapes and the, and the lighting that he does and things like that i feel like that was a pretty good way to go for this exercise and if you're ever looking to support the channel at all uh, i put a link in the description where you can buy you know, like shirts and cell phone cases and posters and other items uh, with the drawings that I have on them. So if you're looking to support the channel, definitely that's one way to do it. Um, yeah, I'd really appreciate that. So yeah, if you if you wanna, I don't have like a Patreon or anything like that. So yeah, if you wanna be able to support the channel, help me out, help, help fund me so I can make more of these videos, definitely check that out and, and uh, pick up a, a shirt or whatever with your favorite player on there. And last time I was doing some finishing touches, trying to add in the tattoos with colored pencil. And here you have it, here's the final image. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about how this turned out. I'm pretty pleased with it. It's definitely got some flaws, 
but uh, but I think there's also a lot of good uh, with the image. So yeah, leave a comment if you want me to do more images like this and I'll see you in the next video.